Hello guys, in this video we will learn how to pass data to blocks. So basically we just set attribute and then get the attribute in the template and spit out the data we pass in to the blocks. There are three areas I'm going to cover where you can pass data from to blocks. So basically you can pass data from controller and from the layout XML file and also you can pass data from observers and they will set the data on the blocks and then they can spit out the data in the template so first of all we created this page as a blocks data and the module for it is very basic we have the block and then we have the controller and then we have the module xml and registration so it's very basic module we created so far so to display the data and set a data to a block and display it on the front page we need first to create a layout and also we need to create a template so to do this we will create a layout file so it will be in the view front end layout and then the layout name the layout name will be blocks data index index that's the page and it will be dot xml file. so it's blocks data index index so if we can if we type index index here it will just show the same exactly the same same thing same page now we have created this file what we need to do is we create the instruction in it so inside the body and then we'll say reference container and we will be content that's just a standard and then we create the block so get the block we give it a name and we call the name blocks data and we give it a class the class will be this block so we just copy it and paste it here we don't need the forward slash here and then we need to specify the template so it will be inside training pass data to blocks module and then we just say example.phtml and that's it and then we need to create the phtml file it will be inside templates folder and, and that's it now we need just to have a some doc blocks we need a var block and also we need another doc block and that will be var magento framework scaber scape so just this one and we just have a little div here and then say data for xml for data for block example so just basic is just dummy data we type in here and now we we have this instruction already been in layout xml file and then we have the template and i think it's pretty much so what we need to do is we just flush cache cache flush layout so we just need to flush the layout then if we refresh now we have this text here once we have the text here then means we are working everything is working correctly now what we need to do is to set data to the block from the controller first so we go to the controller and then we just say page here because we have the page from the page factory and then this page can have access to the layout so we say get layout and then from the get layout the layout object we can get the block we are trying to target which is the blocks data so we just copy this because we given a name as this one and now we say set say for example topic we don't have the set topic method in the block but we will come to this now now set topic and then we say magento training how to pass data to blocks now we set the topic but how this topic can be rendered we just now need to render it here so ul and then li and then we will have the block get topic and that should so this one is a block now block get topic we haven't made change in the layout or anything else so we should see this topic which is the text here so let's have a look and see you can see we have this now we don't have this method we invoke it we set the data here and then we pass the data here as a topic and then we spit it in the template here but we don't have the topic because this is comes from the example and the example extends template the template extends the abstract block the abstract block extends the data object the data object has the magic method set and get which is in the call underscore underscore call here so you can have set and you have get so these are the magic methods and since the example extends the data object in that directly by extending the template and the abstract block then will extend this class data object now this is why when you say set topic it will be a new method added to the class but it's a magic method is not concrete method is not something you can find here and it's not typed in so this is one of the way to pass a data to blocks from the controller the other way to pass data to blocks from controller is using the layout xml file 
So if we go to the layout XML file, we have this. Now we just say description here. So we close the block tag and then inside the block type, we say arguments. And then in the arguments, we have one argument. We say description. We call the argument as description. And then the type of it will be just a string, just string. And then we pass in the data here as learn how to pass data from data to blocks in Magenta 2. If I type this right. Now we have the description. So how do we display this piece of data in the template? So we go to template. We just duplicate this line. And instead of get topic, we say get description. And now here we can say get description because we set the description here. We can't, we don't need to say set. We just say the name description. And then we can append get to the name here. But we will capitalize the name. Now we have this here. We need to, because we made changes to the layout, we need to flush the layout out cache so again cache of flush layout and now we go and refresh now we can see we have the description is being displayed at the second bullet now we are comfortable now how to set or to pass data from controller and also from the layout the third method to pass data to blocks from observers so to do this we will have a, a specific event we we'll listen to to get us the correct data and then we can manage it from there so First of all, we will create observer and then we can say add tutorial link. Now we have this add tutorial link, so we just create the class now. Now it's class add tutorial link will implement the observer in base and then we will we will implement the execute method. Now in the execute method, what we need to do here is we get the block from the observer. So observer get block. This will get us many blocks. It's not necessarily the block we look for so we need to filter out how we make sure the block we are getting is exactly the block we're looking for so we get the block it could be any block now we need to full action name the full action name we will get it from block get request because the get request the request is a publicly exposed so we can get the request object and then from the request object we will say get full action name the full action name will be exactly this one will be blocks data index index how do we determine this is the full action name is because if we go to the front end routes we have the blocks data and this is where it comes first here blocks data and then we come from index index and this is where the folder name index and this is the class name the controller name index so this is the full action name we will get so we just say full action name here instead of action now we will get the block name name because the block name we have is we named it as blocks data so we need to test whether the block name is blocks data so we will get the block name and can be retrieved from block get name in layout so name in layout will get us this name of the block so this is how we get the block get name in layout the block name now we need to test whether these are exactly what we're looking for so if full action name equals blocks data index index and block name is blocks data so if this condition is met then we will pass the block set tutorial link and this will be https and then github.com alal maliki then magento training so this is the observer this is how we create it and how we set the data we pass this piece of data into the block we are looking for or we are listening to now we need to create the event to create the event is simple by going to the etc front end and then inside front end we type the events.xml file and then we will create the events for observer instructions now what we're looking for is we listen for the event is called core layout lock create after and the name we just say add tutorial link and the instance will be exactly the observer we created so we just copy this observer and then place it here now once we are done this we are done we are just listening in the front end so it makes sense to make the event in the front end folder now once we are done this and we have created we pass this data get tutorial link will be spit out in the example html file so we will just say this so we will have anchor tag and then we name it as so we will call the block get tutorial link and then we give a name
name as don't know so say for example scaber scape html and then we name it magenta 2 training now we have this as a retriever and then will be displayed in the front end now since we made changes to the events here in the config we need to flush config cache here we go we flush the config ca config cache now if we refresh now we have in a reflection error which is training pass to data loss pass data to blocks is a so I think it's because of this and then we need also to pass it here now also we need to flush config cache refresh again and here we go the third one is coming from the observer which is the this github link now we have three ways to pass data to blocks from controllers this one and this one we passed it from the layout and the last one we passed it from the observer or properly you want just to make the data available in the block itself and then we say say for example public function get dummy name and then you pass string then return al maliki so this is exactly from the from the block and then you can still have it here so you can have it here block dummy name and if you refresh you will get this dummy name now but this is straightforward you can have the method inside the block and then you can spit it in the html file however we were looking at ways of setting or passing data to blocks without going inside the block itself so we don't need to do anything here so first of all you can pass data from the controller and second you can pass data to blocks from the layout xml file and the third method is to pass it from the observer by listening to a special event is called core layout block create after so after creating the blocks then you can add more data to the blocks you are targeting and you can target by those methods getting the full action name which means the controller action which is which means like the blocks data index index and then the block name the block name is the name we given it to the block at the creation time in the layout so we will get it from the layout and this is the third this is the third example now you have those three ways to pass data to blocks from controller layout and observer i hope this is useful please like and subscribe if you like the video and i'll see you in next time